Hey, what's up everyone? And yes, that's right. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use Airlink with your Quest. This is a feature that lets you play PC VR games over a wireless connection and stream them straight to your headset. After following this tutorial, you will be able to dive into the best experiences that were ever made, such as Half-Life Alyx, for example. Trust me, this is the easiest and friendliest guide you will find on YouTube that works with all Quest headsets. So with that being said, what you need for Airlink are three things. A VR ready computer or laptop, a router and of course a Quest headset. You want to make sure that the computer or laptop you are planning to use is powerful enough to run PC VR games. To find out if it actually is VR ready, you want to install and run the so-called Steam VR performance test. You can download this for free on Steam and I will make sure there is a link to it in the video's description. Depending on how fast your specs are, this test will give you a green, orange or red status. Let's say it sits in the danger zone, meaning orange or red, it tries to tell you that you are not quite ready yet. In this case, I would recommend you to visit Meta's official website and check the requirements for Airlink. You can find this in the description as well. And on it you can find more info on what components you need to upgrade to make your device VR ready. Next to that, it doesn't really matter if you own a regular or fancy gaming router. Although you do want to make sure that it's connected to your computer or laptop via a Ethernet cable to ensure maximum performance. Oh, and a big no-no is definitely connecting to Wi-Fi mesh systems. Last, you need a Quest headset that uses the same Wi-Fi address and has the latest firmware installed. This can prevent many problems later down the road. So with that out of the way, let's get started. First of all, what you want to do is open your favorite browser to download the software you'll need to play PC VR games. A link can be found in the video's description that will take you straight to the Meta website where you can download it. Installing this program shouldn't take too long, but make sure you have enough uh, space on your disk drive for the best possible experience. You also need to log in, which can be a bit of a hassle. I mean, I always use my email that is linked to my Quest account for the easy way in. Once arrived in the application, head over to devices on the left and click on add headset in the middle. Pick the one you own and select a connection method. In case of this tutorial, I will go for wireless, but if you want you can also play with a cable. It's totally up to you. When you made your choice, it will ask you to put on the headset and starting from your menu, navigate to its main settings. Go to System and look for Quest Link. All you gotta do here is turn it on by simply flipping the switch. As you just enabled it, it should now, among all the other features, show up in your quick settings. Before you can launch it though, you have to toggle on Airlink first and choose your computer or laptop. You should then be able to pair the Quest to your desktop with a catchphrase. So briefly take off the headset to confirm the matching code on the Quest PC app and if you followed my steps correctly, the software should show a headset with a green indicator, telling you it's, well, ready to go. All that's left to do now is hit continue and finally launch Airlink from within the headset. Give it a moment to load and voila, you're being presented with the PC VR menu. Congratulations and from here you can start playing the best games available on the platform. A few titles I can recommend are Stormland, Lone Echo, Defector, Edge of Nowhere, Wanderer and of course Asgard's Wrath. Most of these titles were made for the original Rift but should work fine with all Quest headsets. Now before I show you how to set up Steam to play even more PC VR games like Boneworks, uh, Project Cars, Vertigo, Microsoft Flight Simulator and Half-Life Alyx of course, it's worth mentioning that Airlink continues to be an experience that based on many factors can work great or turn into a complete nightmare. This highly varies per person and their circumstances but but to not leave you empty handed, here are 10 tips that will help you get the most out of Airlink. So if you run into stutters, artifacts or even worse, lag, you may want to look into the performance. On the Quest PC app under devices, you can open up a window called advanced graphics preferences. And over there you can change the 
refresh rate and the rendering resolution. For most, automatic will do the trick, but you may want to play around with this to see if things can be improved. On top of that, you can tweak the bitrate and turn off anti-aliasing as well. But to do that, you have to go to the PC settings inside the headset. Just cycle through the dash menu and see what you can tweak. The next may sound like the most obvious tip ever, but keeping your graphics card, Quest and PC software up to date is super important to get the most out of Airlink. So always check if everything is on the latest, latest firmware. A common issue that I myself have ran into multiple times is not having any audio. When you open up devices and your Quest 3 shows a, well, red indicator, you know what's up. This is something that can be easily fixed through the sound control panel in Windows. First go to playback and under headphones enable the virtual audio device. In the recording tab you want to do the same, but this time you want to find the headset's microphone and make that your main source. Restart the application and when you head back to devices, your audio problems should now be gone. Another issue that I'm having every now and then is Airlink simply not launching as it can't find my PC. What usually helps is restarting the headset, re-enabling Quest Link, resetting the Wi-Fi and or rebooting the headset's PC software. If all of this doesn't help, you could also try to reinstall the software or, as a last resort, factory reset the Quest. If Airlink acts weird in any way or your games refuse to start, it can help to close all applications that run in the background. I'm not kidding, even apps that power your RGB keyboard or mouse can be the problem. Another tip is to keep an eye on the well-hidden indicators inside your headset. Under Quest Link you want to keep everything in the green and if one isn't, click on the info icon and learn more on how you can improve this. It may come as a surprise, but Airlink has no easy exit. I found out that the quickest way to travel back to the main Quest menu is by double tapping the side of the headset. This streamlines the overall use of Airlink tremendously. A classic tip is that you can reset your view in mid-game by hitting the meta button on your controller. Handy for when you don't want to be facing valuable furniture or increase the chance of hitting someone in the face. Last but not least, if all of these tips have still not improved your Airlink experience, your last resort is going to be wired. This can give a much more stable play session and you can use Meta's fiber cable made specifically for PC VR gaming or go for a third party option. I will add my personal recommendations to the description including cables that are USB-C to A. So let's move on to setting up Steam shall we? To be able to play PC games from this platform you need a software called Steam VR. You can grab this from the official Steam store and is totally free. Again there is a link in the description. Once it's downloaded return to the Quest PC app and go to its settings. Under general turn on unknown sources and head back to your library. Over there, click on the plus icon in the upper right corner and find the Steam VR launcher. It should actually do this automatically, but if it doesn't, look it up yourself. After you edit it, scroll down and you should see Steam VR pop up under unknown sources. So of course launch it and put on the headset. You should then be thrown into Steam and you can start playing all of its amazing VR experiences. In general the platform is being well maintained by Valve resulting into some cool features such as picking your own home environments and decorating it to your own taste. You can even invite your friends there and the most awesome thing is that it has a desktop viewer that lets you play flat video games, watch movies, have background music on while playing VR titles or simply browse the web without having to touch your desktop in real life. The Quest PC app has something similar but is greatly outdated so I would still stick with uh, Steam VR. And that my friends is how you use Airlink on the Quest. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial. I hope it was useful. If it was then make sure to slam that like button to show your support and don't forget to subscribe for more useful guides like this one. Let me know in the comments below what you are going to play first and with that being said until next time have fun and bye bye for now.